Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Beatty and I'm a Digital Solutions Architect here at Eclipsis Solutions. Today I'm going to walk you through a demo of the COVID-19 Digital Assistant we've jointly developed with Oracle using the Oracle Digital Assistant platform as a service. During this demo, I will also highlight some of the more noteworthy features of the Digital Assistant platform as I go along. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so the first feature I want to bring your attention to is the chat window widget itself. Many of the competing platforms have very much taken a build-it-yourself approach, whereas Oracle's platform includes a fully functional widget out of the box that's called the Oracle Web SDK. Uh, it's very straightforward to embed the chat window on your website. Uh, you simply need to include a single JavaScript file along with a snippet of JavaScript code to initialize and customize the assistant and it is ready to go. So let's have a look. The widget is fully customizable. Uh, you can change any of the icons used uh, in the chat window, including the main icon that I clicked on to launch the window. You can change your colors to match the your corporate branding. Uh, you can change the header element, which is actually a little snippet of HTML hidden on the page that gets pulled into the window. Uh, any text displayed in the window. Uh, this text is easily localized in the settings to other languages. Uh, and lastly, you can enable and disable certain features such as text-to-speech, um, giving the user the ability to upload a document. It's not currently enabled, but there's an option to allow the user to send their geolocation. And lastly, uh, turning on and off voice recognition. Now let's start looking at the ways a user can interact with the COVID-19 assistant. <clears throat> the first thing you may have noticed is that the chat window opened up with a menu being displayed. Uh, the menu itself is a user interface component called a card. And cards are, are definitely one way the user can interact with the assistant and they let us easily build multi-level menu systems to help guide the user to the information they're looking for. And I'll demonstrate that shortly. The initial menu is a single card, but there can be multiple cards stacked either vertically or horizontally, uh, which the user can swipe through on a mobile view or click through in a desktop view. These cards can have an image, uh, they'll have a title and uh, some descriptive text. Uh, they'll have one or more uh, calls to actions, which get rendered out as buttons and optionally they can have uh, footer text. The call, the action buttons themselves can be linked to links to web pages or they can be tied to something called an intent that has been developed in the platform. Uh, you can think of as an, an intent as an action that the user wants to complete or a goal the user wants to accomplish. Uh, for example, in the context of this COVID-19 assistant, the user may want to perform a self-assessment or perhaps self-report a suspected coronavirus case. Uh, let me demonstrate uh, a few of the, the action buttons. So if I click on the Government of Canada Updates button, uh, you'll notice a new uh, tab appears in my browser uh, with the, the, the URL of the link. Uh, so those those links can be either you know internal links to your own website or external links, uh, and then I can demonstrate a little bit of the multi-level navigation system. Uh, so if I click on protecting myself and loved ones, uh, you can see a new menu appears. Uh, this one has an image in it, um, and it basically can have multiple levels to it. So <clears throat> I can click down again into know how it spreads. And uh, this might be the, the information the user was looking for. Uh, and we can also uh, show actions that allow them to navigate back up through the menu system. So I can click back uh, twice to get back to the main menu. So presenting menus is certainly a nice user experience. But another inter way to interact is to just start asking the assistant questions. This 
interaction will really demonstrate, in, in my opinion, what is the number one purpose of an assistant. And that is to use artificial intelligence technology to understand what the user is asking, be it via typing or speaking, <clears throat> and from it in further intent, and to also extract the key pieces of information the user might have given to us. In the Oracle platform, the key pieces of information are referred to as entities. So let me demonstrate this first by using a special type of intentity, an intent called an answer intent. Answer intents are FAQ style intents that are used to quickly return an answer to the user. So I will ask the assistant, can I catch COVID twice? And so here you can see that the uh, assistant has responded with the answer to that particular question. Um, it's important to note that the assistant will, will use its uh, machine learning algorithms to, to really understand the question uh, in any form that the user can, can type it. Um, so I'll ask the question in a, a different form and get the same answer returned. <clears throat> So let me use a different kind of intent, um, one that you saw in the menu, the current situation intent, uh, to demonstrate the assistant extracting those key pieces of information or entities. So I'll just quickly run through the current situation intent. So when I click on the action button, uh, the first menu appears and it, it's prompting me whether or not I want to see the Canadian wide current statistics or potentially narrow it down to a province or territory. So in this situation, I will choose the Canadian uh, numbers. And so the assistant uh, responds back with the, with the current numbers <clears throat> um, and, and using the menuing system, I can just click back to, to get back to the main menu. So now I just want to demonstrate <clears throat> Uh, asking the assistant a different kind of question related to the current situation and I'm going to supply it with a bit more information. Um, so I will ask it what are the current COVID numbers in Ontario. So note that I'm going to be supplying the province of Ontario as, a, as that key piece of information as that location entity that the intent wants. Uh, so you can see that the assistant returns now the numbers for Ontario and basically that it had extracted that location of Ontario from, from, my, from my utterance, from my phrase uh, and didn't prompt me for it and knew just to go and get the, the numbers for Ontario. Now the last way users can interact with the assistant using this web channel is to use their voice to speak to the assistant. The digital assistant platform includes excellent voice recognition and text-to-speech features. So let me demonstrate. First, I will turn on the text-to-speech option. And then I simply need to click the microphone icon and ask it a question. Can I catch COVID-19 multiple times? Medical professionals don't know. Because COVID-19 is a new virus, it is not yet known if people can develop an immunity to COVID-19 after recovering. Research into this issue is being actively pursued at the moment. And there you have it. A uh, quick overview of our COVID-19 assistant and a sneak peek at some of the features of the Oracle Digital Assistant platform. Of course, I'm not able to cover all of the platform features in a, in a short overview video. For instance, I did not get to discuss uh, key features like custom components, which are hosted Node.js JavaScript applications that can be developed to fetch and process data or interact with your back office applications, <clears throat> or the built-in analytics reports, which let you gauge how the assistant is performing. And well, <clears throat> the list goes on as you can see. Thank you for joining me on this COVID-19 digital assistant demo, and I hope you found it informative. 
If you would like more information on how to customize the digital assistant to complement your business, please email us at info at eclipsis.ca.